Hello, good day. Um, I'm here to walk you through the LMS for your course and uh, this is a generic walkthrough and whatever course you're uh, using or you are learning and you use the same method to assess your course content. So let's get started. Uh, from the URL here, you would see vskills.com i n slash lms slash ensure that this is the url that you have now if you have this url by typing it or by clicking it it will open this page you see this page here what you have here having username email address and password this is what you'll get so you are supposed to enter your email address that is given to you for that particular course and enter the password in this case uh, email and password is usually the same. Now you can decide to make remember me. You can decide to keep it up you know, so that you don't need to log in. You don't need to go through these steps again so that your password can be saved to the device that you're using. In this case, mine is saved. So now you see with this, I'm logging into my course. All I need to do this is me, Mouse Ramta. So I'm going to click this and it will automatically register the email and password just like this. And it's logging me in. So, but if you have not logged in before and you did not activate your Remember Me, you will still need to type your um, email and password given to you for your course. You still need to hand type it. So, because I don't want to hand type it, that is why. I have let me log out and show you what I mean here. I'm logging out of the course. So what I mean is if you do not activate remember me like this, you will have to type. You type. So I'm typing it, right? So you have to type like this and type your password for you to go in because you did not activate remember me. So um i suggest that you activate that so you don't need to type because when you type like this you can make a mistake when you type so so i have to be sure that i'm getting this correctly uh all right so and then i click the login so that's it so here i mean this is my course all right uh, this is the course that I registered for. Uh, what's important is this place where you have certified Python developer. That is the course. You know, this account can be used by multiple persons. So we credit it for multiple persons. Um, regardless of whether you are using more Suranta uh, name as a course or you are using um, whatever name, it doesn't matter but just ensure that your course is active your course is open for you it is not locked it can only get locked when the duration of the course expired but as long as it's not locked you still have access to the course any time of the day morning afternoon night you can go in here so as soon as you get here the next thing you should do you have to see this but this is not what we are going for so you see where to log out you don't need to change the password uh, skip the password it's already saved and you have a logout if you want to log out anytime however it logs out itself if you are not using it for a while so I'll come back here now you see courses one course is here completed if it's completed this is going to go from zero to maybe hundred percent Whatever state you are, this will increase the completed um, number. Then certificates, certificates will be issued. So when the courses are complete and all the quizzes and tests and project is done, in our own case, we are in control of the certificate, not even the LMS. And of course, your points. So we will be keeping this also as a file in papers, in Excel sheets. That is more expansive details so uh, apart from that so where you go to you click your course i'm going to click certified python developer now when you click this it will open up all your courses hmm? you see introduction to python this is the first thing this is the first lesson of this course and how many topics are here 18 topics and the quiz that comes with the lms 
Never mind, you're going to do more than one quiz, but the elements carries one quiz. We'll be sharing quiz with you and um, test and all of that on your WhatsApp group. So for you to see all the topics that are in this section of the course, you click expand, all right? So you click expand. So I just click expand and you can see all the course content, all the 18 course content here. Look at it, you see, you see all of it? Now the beautiful thing is all of this course content you would have to go through it for this particular session of the course. So there are 15 of it, 18 of it. Now, there's a reason, there's something I want to bring to your notice. You may want to skip, but it's not good for you. I would advise you bookmark where you stop. For example, if you stop at numbers in Python, bookmark it, write it down somewhere so that you can restart there because your instructors may be ahead of you and in that case um, all these courses will be open because usually anybody can speed read you can speed read and finish like the fastest speed reader in nigeria uh, the comedian but that's not what we want now because we are going to be giving you tests for each of the courses so that's why you don't speed read. You have to actually understand the concept that it's taking. So when you want to start from the beginning, you start. So I'm going to start from welcome to this course. This is the first thing, and that is where you need to start. So I'm going to click it now. Here it is. Here it is. So this is the first thing in the course. So I'm going to click here now to get through this lesson. I'll just have to click play. Now, when you click this, it starts. Make sure your pencil, your biro, your paper, your computers, your notepad on your computer is ready on one side for you to take notes, okay? And so that you take the key notes because every of this lesson will carry marks, will carry their keys. So I'll just click it now. So when you click it, it will start. So it's going to start now. So it That's it. Now, when you finish, when you complete this course, you go to next. So this is the next topic. This is next. So this is the second topic of that particular lesson. The same thing. Now you can see this has changed. There is next topic. And if you want to go back, there's a previous topic because you already have had one lesson. There's a previous now and there is a next. So that's how it goes on and on. Please pay attention. Make sure you have your materials. So this is how to assess the cost. All right. So that's it. It's just that easy. So you're in. And when you're done, you can sign out by coming here and click log out. You're out of the course. You know, you're out. You can resume again later. Thank you very much.